Hi everybody, uh, we are still in a uh, problem set 1.1 and we are now in question 5 okay so the question goes um, we have three vectors let's write them down okay um, let's say we'll do them in different colors so let's say that u is green u is a vector so I'm putting an arrow and this would be the green vector and it has three components um, they happen to be 1 and 2 and 3 of course they could be any numbers and um, we have another vector let's say it's the um, um, red vector I don't know which color it is exactly but let's try to make it uh, each time different colors uh, versified okay and its components the red one is uh, the components are minus 3 1 and minus 2 and uh, the last one let's make it in um, green so, no, we already had green, I'm sorry. So let's make it in um, purple. It's a, uh, oh, maybe purple is confusing you with the result. So let's make it in uh, blue. It's a W, the last, the last vector in this question is called W and it, its components are two minus three and minus one. The first component is two, the second component is minus three, and the last component is minus one. Okay. And they ask us uh, first to, to see how much they are all together. So let's see. U plus V plus W. equals okay so the first component here plus the first component here plus the first component here 1 plus minus 3 plus 2 okay so this is this whole thing is the first component let's already make the result the end result component here so the end result we will do in a, let's say a black so 1 plus minus 3 is minus 2, okay it's like 1 minus 3, so it's minus 2 plus 2, minus 2 plus 2 is 0, so let's make it 0. The first component of the result is 0. The second component, uh, let's calculate it now, um, 2 
plus one plus minus three How much is it? 2 plus 1 is 3. Plus minus 3, it's like 3 minus 3, it's 0. Okay, so let's write here 0. Okay, uh, so the last component, the third component, is the third component of this, of u, plus the third component of v, plus the third component of w, so 3 plus minus 2 plus minus 1. 3 plus minus 2 plus minus 1. How much is it? 3 plus minus 2, it's like 3 minus 2, it's like 1. Plus minus 1, it's like 1 minus 1, it's 0. Okay, so the all of them together get us 0, 0, 0. Okay, so the result of u plus v plus w is a vector with components 0, 0, 0. Okay. The second part of the component, so basically if, if we draw it, I'm not drawing it now, but if we draw it, if we had like a coordinates, it would go to some places and then come back to the origin. Okay, so they, um, all of them together, okay, so let's, let's be more precise they look like a triangle, okay? We start in the origin, we go to some place, we go to some other place, and then come back to the origin. So they actually draw a triangle. So two of them are the same as minus the third one. It's not necessarily the first two are the minus of the third one. It could be the these two are minus this, or you see, or these two are minus this, but they are not not all of them are bringing new uh, information. Okay, do you understand how do we know this? Because they brought us back to to the same place, to the origin. So we it's like we we went to some place and then came back. The came back part means um, minus the sum of the first two that we chose. Okay, so now uh, let's see uh, what they ask us. Uh, how much is two, 2 times u plus 2 times v plus w? Okay, let's see. Uh, 2 times U, just taking the book to the side and bringing it up, 2 times U, plus 2 times V, plus W, Okay, let's see how much is that. Um, let's do this in stages. We, we could do it in one stage, but I want to do it in stages. So two times u is one, two, three. I'm just copying from here. Copying to here. 
one, two, three. Plus two times V. V is the red one, minus three, one and minus two. plus W as it is, which is 2 minus 3 minus 1. Okay, let's see how much it, it, it is. This whole thing is wrong, is equal to um, 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, so 2 and 4 and 6. Okay, 2 times 2, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6. So 2, 4, and 6. Plus. How much is 2 times minus 3, the first component? It's minus 6. How much is 2 times 1, the second component? It's 2. How much is the third component, 2 times minus 2, it's minus 4. Okay, plus... just 2 and minus 3 and minus 1. Okay, how much is it equal to? So we have... Two plus minus six is minus four. I'm sorry. Two plus minus six is like two minus six is minus four. Plus two is minus two. Four plus two is six. Plus minus three it's like six minus three. It's three. Six plus minus four. It's like 6 minus 4, it's 2. Minus 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, so it's minus 2, 3, and 1. Um, I'm not completely sure <coughs> why they wanted us to do this. But uh, let me just check that I didn't make a mistake. 2u plus 2v plus w. 2u plus 2v plus w. 2 and u was 1, 2, 3. v was minus 3, 1 and 2. And minus 2, I'm sorry. w was 2 and minus 3 and minus 1. And we multiplied. 2, 4, 6, minus 6, 2, and minus 4, and 2, minus 3, minus 1, minus 4, minus 2, 4, 2, 6, minus 3 is 3, 6 plus minus 4 is 2, plus minus 1 is 1. Okay, so, um, I believe this is the answer to the second part of the question. Um, usually, like the author Gilbert Strang has a point, it's not just letting us calculate things, so I guess there is some meaning here that I, that I don't see, but the, um, the other question is 
how do we know they all lie in the same plane? We know it because they are the two of them are a linear combination of the other one. Okay? If if we oh I see what he means. Okay, so I see what he meant. If we take this result, okay, and we multiply it by minus one, what do we get? Okay, if this result, let's call it minus w. I will show you why in just a second. I will call this one, let's make it in purple. This equals minus w. Why am I calling it this? Because look, this is minus 2, 3, and 1. How much is w? 2, minus 3, and minus 1. Okay, I'm just copying it here. So, w was 2, minus 3, and minus 1. And minus w is minus 2, 3, and 1. Okay, so you see that this result that we got here, minus 2, 3, and 1, or minus w, we called it, minus 2, 3, and 1, we just copied it here, and this result, the w from up, I just, from the uh, first part of the exercise, I just copied it 2 minus 3 and minus 1. I just copied it to here, 2 minus 3 and minus 1. Okay, so they are just um, multiplying this one by minus 1 to get this one, or mul multiplying this one by minus 1 to get this one. So, so this is what I talked about in the beginning. It, if, if we walk along the, along this path, okay, let's, for example, two times this and two times this and one times this, we get, um, we get a minus um, W. Okay, so we actually um, come back to the beginning. Okay, so um, so in a way we are not adding uh, information. We are if we are adding If we are adding, I will show you, to u, two times u, plus two times v, plus w, We got minus W. So if we um, if we move this one to this side of the equation, okay, so minus W, we move it to here. We add to both both sides of the equation. Uh, w, okay, so we we end up with two w two w's here and the zero uh, the zero vector here, okay, which is what we saw that u plus v plus w equals zero zero zero, so it's the same, okay, so. Um, 
it's just emphasizing the, the same conclusion that we got to in here. That these three, these three are going back to, to the origin. Okay? So two of them, if we combine them and we multiply by minus one, we get the third one. Okay? Do, do you understand? If, if we move this W to this side, if we sub subtract uh, from both sides of the equation, from this side and from this side, the vector W, we get 2V plus 2, 2U plus 2V equals minus 2Ws. If we divide, um, divide both sides by 2, we get U plus V equals minus W. U plus V We could have done this here, okay? Because this was also the zero vector. But I'm doing it here just because I thought about it now. Uh, and this equals minus w. Okay, if we move this one to here and divide the whole thing by 2. This is division. Okay, so um, if we have two vectors, two vectors that are a linear combination like minus 1 times this one plus minus 1 plus this one equals the third one, okay? So they are not, the, the third one is not giving us a new, new, new information, okay? is just a linear combination of the first two. So this is why the third one is redundant and is not creating a whole space is even though they are both they are the three of them are in a, in 3D space this is, is in 3D space and this is in 3D space and this is in 3D space three vectors that are all in 3D space but these two and these two, I'm sorry, these two vectors, u and v, create some uh, space, and then w doesn't add anything new, okay? Because minus w is already contained here. u plus v equals minus w, okay? So do you understand now? Or we could say it in other words, that these two contain the same information as this one, or these two contain the same information as this one. The, we don't need the whole three. We, we, for, the, for the amount of information that is in all the three of them, these two are enough, okay, for example. So, so this is why they, not, they don't spend the whole space, they just spend a plane. Which plane? The plane that is uh, spent by these two. Okay, it's not the xy plane, it's some plane in space. Okay, it's like a, a cardboard that is infinite cardboard that is a uh, held like, like this or like this in space, like a sheet of paper, a, a huge infinite sheet of paper. But it's not the whole space, it's not like a stack of papers. It's not like a stack, it's like once a, a sheet of paper or cardboard, if you want it in, in space, so it, it's rigid and, uh, and it's infinite, but it's very thin, like it's, it's only a plane, it's not a space. Uh, okay, so uh, that's it, thank you.